Chris, I want to start with you. Sure. What's a drug court? Yeah, well, the idea is that um, when an addicted person is arrested, um, they can either be sentenced traditionally, which may be probation, oftentimes it's jail, or you can use their leverage in the criminal justice system to get them into treatment. And that's really what, why drug courts exist. Um, individuals are assessed. If there's a clinical need, then they would have the opportunity to enter into a drug court where they're going to be supervised closely. Uh, they're going to be held accountable for um, going to their treatment, mm -hmm. to uh, submitting to drug tests. Um, they're going to receive counseling. And ultimately, after uh, usually a minimum of a year, they're going to be ready to uh, leave the criminal justice system and never come back. Um, you know, it it's really uh, gives an alternative to, to some of the justice professionals out there who are a little frustrated with seeing addicted people come back and back and back. Right, and we keep talking about the recidivism rates. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when we look at the program, it's effective. Mm -hmm. It also seems cost effective. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe in the intro, we seem to suggest, you know, that there's a problem, that they're not growing quick enough, but they really are growing very quickly. Yeah, I mean, there, there's tremendous progress right now. Uh, we're up to 2,700 nationwide. There's momentum uh, at the state level. There's momentum at the federal level. Um, the push now is to really go to scale and reach that 1.2 million people. Drug courts today are referring more people to treatment than any other system in America, uh, about 136,000 people a year. Um, but we know we have to do better. We've got to expand capacity of existing programs, and we need new programs where they're not.